AMD sure make good CPUs, even if they are awful at naming them, if you couldn't tell from the fact that they've made 8 slightly different Ryzen 5600s. Adding to this list of pretty cool but awkwardly named chips, we now have the Ryzen 9 9950X3D2. Yes, as a real SKU name and I'll just leave it on the screen there for you for a while to digest. The gist of it is that it's taking the basic model of an X3D chip with plenty of 3D V cache and taking it up a notch, bringing even more cache in the base in 9950X3D, going from 128 to 192 megabytes of level 3 cache. The one interesting thing of note is that its boost clocks will actually be slightly lower by 100 megahertz than the 9950X3D we have right now. However, all of that additional cache should hopefully offset that small difference in performance caused by that maximum boost clock. And hey, you can always just overclock it if you care that much. This appears to just be the first of a series of dual V cache. CPUs that AMD are planning on creating, given the huge success of the X3D SKUs. And while we don't know anything right now when it comes to pricing or release date, while we could be seeing something about it come up soon at CES 2026 when AMD are planning on doing their keynote. Though given how this is essentially AMD's flagship but with even more Vcash, you can expect the price is going to be rather painful to your wallet. So I want to hear your guesses when it comes to how much this thing is going to cost down in the comments below. And hey, while you're at it, maybe also check out our Patreon because even a single dollar month truly does a long way. But also, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, just some rage, I love Ronnie, but I should about a carousel, not a pseudonym, Meg, the and Chain Allcraft. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.